Hello there and welcome back to The Modern Stacker. Um, today's going to be an interesting video because we're actually going to be talking a little bit about some technology because I think it's relevant to what's coming down the pike uh, with regards to our stacking journey. For So for if you're a, a technologist or if somebody has not been paying attention or even hasn't heard about this, uh, I think this is something you should be paying attention to very, very closely. And uh, I will show you why here in a minute. Uh, but uh, first, if you're new to this channel, hi, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to be talking about precious metals, gold, silver, and stacking, all that kind of stuff. But today, like I said, we're going to we're going to take a few minutes and we're going to look at some tech. So, uh, if you're new, if you uh, if you haven't heard of ChatGPT, okay, uh, it is a linguistics model that has been developed that allows you to have conversations, real time conversations. And it's incredibly accurate. So we're going to actually do a quick little demo here. Uh, just kind of like showcase how this all works. Um, so we're going to be talking with ChatGPT. And we're going to ask it, uh, what is the current spot price of silver? All right. We're going to ask my question. And uh, we're going to wait. I'm sorry. I don't have the most information on the spot price of silver. My training data only goes up to 2021. Okay. And this is telling me a little bit of information about that. Okay. Oh, so let's ask another question. What can you tell me about the um, what is uh, the gold confiscation of 1933? Let's see what happens here. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's coming. Yeah, there we go. The gold confiscation of 1933 refers to an executive order signed by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in the United States that made it legal illegal for citizens to own or hold monetary gold with limited exceptions. The order was, you know, okay, so it's writing this really nice response to educate. So if you're trying to learn something, this is one of the really cool things about ChatGPT. If you're trying to learn something, you can ask questions very specific um, to how you want, whatever question you're wanting to ask, and it will um, it'll explain it to you. Uh, can you simplify that uh, response to the way a child would read it. Let's see if, uh, see what comes back here. Sure. 1933, the leader of the United States, President Roosevelt, made a rule that said people could, couldn't keep gold coins and bars as money. They had to give it to the government. This helped the government to have more control <laughs> over the country's money. Oh, how honest it was. And make sure it was worth a lot. So anyway, you can see here, this is what ChatGPT is about. Now, you saw up here, th there is a limitation, okay? Um, and this is a limitation that is with it. ChatGPT has some constraints around it that um, I won't get into here, but there are some, there are parameters around it that allow it to kind of give it, it's only allowed to give you so much information. It can't connect to the internet. It can't you know, give you latest information. It's limited to what data it can give you. Now, I'm going to show you something really interesting. Meet Dan. Dan is the jailbreak version of ChatGPT. Chat now, I'm not going to use it um, because I honestly don't want my account getting, you know, spammed or anything like that with it. But uh, you can read through this. But here, essentially, you, you feed it this prompt. And then any responses you get, you'll get two responses. One is uh, the way Dan would respond. And the other is the way um, ChatGPT res would respond. And so you can see here in this little um, Medium article, uh, I'll put the link down in the description below so you can take a look at it. Uh, you can see the responses. And there's they're wildly different, okay? <laughs> it's definitely worth a read. Um, but this is the jailbreak version of what ChatGPT can do. And it, it is, it's a lengthy article, and but it's, it's a fun read. So... But the point that I'm getting here at is that, uh, and you, you've probably seen some of the articles already, that this application is going to really have a, a major impact on the jobs that our you know our country you know has. I mean, we're there are there are going to be job jobs lost as a result of this application. It's just that I mean, people who write journalists who, uh, you know, write articles and stuff for like magazines, and publications. Uh, in fact, I think Buzzfeed just announced that it was, uh, making a massive shift into using chat GPT to write all, you know, a good chunk of its articles, uh, which means a good chunk of its staff is going to get let go. Uh, so that, and that's just the start. You can see how this might even, uh, well, let's just see, you know, 
right, uh, create, uh, write a landing page for a website about silver and gold bullion. All right, let's see what happens. Welcome to Website Name, the ultimate source of the finest silver and gold bullion. With years of experience and a passion for precious metals, we offer a wide selection of the highest quality bullion coins and bars. This is all being generated right here as we're talking. Now, previously, you used to have to hire people to come up with this amazing fluff. Now, it does it for you. And it does it actually better in many respects because it knows how to um, make, make this more SEO friendly. In fact, if I didn't like this, I could, I could tell it. Uh, make it more SEO friendly or make it uh, more, you know, poppy or, you know, whatever audience I was trying to target, you know, uh, spin this, uh, rewrite this to appeal to a younger audience and watch this. It'll do it. So your go to destination for the coolest silver and gold bullion, write a fresh perspective uh, with a fresh perspective and a passion for precious metals, we're here to help you get started on your journey to investing in the hottest commodity. Now, see, I mean, I can't come up with this stuff like this thing can because it's programmed to think this way based off of the machine learning, which is basically just, you know, massive and massive amounts of data that was fed to it. And then some algorithms that were fed to it through this AI model. And that's how it comes up with this. It's quite amazing, really. But that's what we're looking at. So, why am I showing this to you? Why have I shown you Dan? I think all of this, okay? If there's any one thing that I can say is a justification for why you, you should be strongly considering getting into precious metals, it's because of this. <laughs> and I say that not because that's going to save you. I say that because as this becomes more and more prevalent, and as this, you know, as these, I could not, I mean, I'm showing you something that's a good use of this. I'm showing you a good use of ChatGPT. There are unethical uses of ChatGPT. And when you couple that with something like this, uh, the unethical use of ChatGPT becomes a little, little scary. And I'm not, not trying to go doom and gloom here, but I am suggesting that we are looking at a at a tool that has the potential to take us down a road that we that we as a population we as as a society as humankind are just not equipped to handle and that's kind of what Elon Musk has been saying all along so what i'm suggesting to you is that now is a good time to be getting yourself ready getting yourself prepared and um, getting your houses in order so that you can uh, just just in the event, should something happen, you at least have yourself and your family provisioned for, you know, a, a wise man takes care of his house and, you know, you know, look is the watchman. And, I, and that's what I'm kind of encouraging you to do is to go out there and be the watchman for your household, for your family. And right now, if you've been watching the kind of the stock, stock markets and even if you've been following my channel on the community post, I think even he posted a video earlier this week, there was a nice nice little uh, adjustment in the spot price. So, and even in gold, there was a nice little drop. But as you can see, gold's kind of ticking back up again a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna stay, but um, you, ha you have this delta here. This is, a, this is a buying opportunity if you're a buyer. Not, not financial advice. I'm just a YouTuber who likes to talk about shiny things. But this is, uh, in my opinion, this is, a, this is a good time to relook at this. And, um, and, you know, if you're looking to get something like that, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of SD Bullion. Not sponsored by these guys. I just like their website and their service. Atmex is another great one. Uh, Miles Franklin, another great outstanding uh, provider monument metals heard her really good things of those but anyway you can this is a time to be getting yourself ready and again really cool tech i'm a technologist i love this stuff but uh it's kind of this is kind of scary and honestly i'm i'm uh very surprised that this wasn't uh <laughs> there wasn't a restriction on this this is kind of this is kind of funny but anyway just thought i'd post this video let me know in the comments below. Have you have you played around with this? Have you played around with ChatGPT? What do you think of it? And uh, is that encouraging you to get a little bit more, you know, bullish on precious metals? Let, let me know in, your, in the comments below what you're thinking. 
and because uh, it helps out the community as well. But anyway, that's the video for today. Really appreciate you watching. Hit that like button, by the way, on the way out. Uh, it really helps the algorithm. And um, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.